Hello and welcome to Quadriverific. In this video, we are going to see how we can prepare features and save them in CSV file in Python. So I am back to my spider editor and uh, as you can see, I have already imported the libraries that I'm going to use in this program. One of which is NumPy and uh, the another one is Pandas that we will use to read and write the CSV files. For example, let's say I am going to save uh, some important data for my video and uh, I am creating some random variables. For example, video name, frame number and frame number as integer. I want to make sure that the string is uh, converted first into integer this format is very helpful in pre-processing when you use the data later it saves a lot of amount of pre-processing and let's say for example i have a vector that has two values and uh, there is another vector that has two values last variable is category now i have prepared my variables next i am going to create a dictionary variable that will contain my this data so in this program my out variable will be the dictionary and to save each of these variables into my dictionary i have created labels same as uh, the name of variable to avoid any confusion and uh, this is the label and this is the value that will correspond to this label if you notice that i have passed the entire vector for feet and centers labels so i am not going to discuss it why first i want to show you when i save this variable as a csv and i read it back how these values will be saved in csv next i'm going to write this dictionary variable as a csv name of my output file will be features underscore list or csv and uh, i recommend that always use names of files with underscores next i have created a data frame object and uh, to this object i have passed my output variable and using this object i am going to call to underscore csv function in this function i have passed output file here if you notice that i have not concatenated another path because uh, i want this csv to be saved inside my current working directory csv file is comma separated and the encoding i have used utf dash it now i'm going to run this program if you can see in my files explorer the csv file has been saved in my current working directory and to see a clear picture how my csv is saved when i pass entire vector without indexing for centers and feet variables so i'm going to read it back if you can see in my variable explorer i click on the values of uh, data frame df that is this one that carries the data frame object after reading the csv file for example vector center center 0 and to enter the value center 1 csv file has moved to another row but keeping the other data same and similarly it has done with the feature feature 0 feature 1 so basically to move all of the values of vector centers and feet it has created multiple rows while keeping the other column data same i want to save a csv such as it creates one row and uh, it saves vectors center 0 center 1 inside the same row similarly for feet vector it's a, it should save feet 0 value then feet 1 inside the same row instead of creating multiple rows how we can do that let's jump to the solution so basically inside my dictionary i am going to create another variable changing the name of center as center one or let's say to avoid any confusion i'm going to name is as zero center one and i'm going to do the same with feet variable changing the name to zero and one and uh, this and here to save feet zero value i'm going to index row this vector so that the feet zero will contain the the zero index element similarly the feet one will contain the element that is under index one i'm going to do the same for my centers variable and uh, because now i have used uh, every scalar value for every of the variable inside dictionary another thing i want to mention here is that i have added index is equal to zero that refer the data frame object that i am going to save a scalar value for each of 
uh, variable inside the dictionary so if you don't add it it will generate an error and to avoid that we need to add inside the data frame object to pass index is equal to zero now i'm going to run these lines and read it back so this is my variable df that has uh, currently saved csv that i have loaded it back just now and if i click on the values now the values are in the correct shape that i want into it is one row format and if we can see now that the center zero center of one feet zero feet one as i have mentioned in my dictionary are saved this solution works only for the values if you have uh, smaller vectors but in case let's say you have a feature of uh, 100 arrays where it contains uh, pixel values of an image are you going to create manually each variable inside the dictionary it is not going to work right let's jump to another solution that will work in a scenario where you have lengthy feature vectors as an example i have created uh, the variables uh, that i created above in previous solution but here i am going to use feature as a lengthy feature vector to do that i am going to randomly generate integers of size 100 and the shape will be 1 and 100 remember that always use this shape if you want to save this feature in the csv otherwise it will generate an error of indexing so here this means that i am going to create an array that will have one row and 100 columns now i am going to create three different data frames first data frame will contain the variables that have scalar values second data frame will contain the centers vector and the third data frame will contain the values of features if you don't know the feet variable represents the features that's what i have used the short for first i'm going to create a dictionary with the same name out and uh, in this dictionary i will be writing the variables that have scalar values i have created the first data frame that will create a data frame object using my output variable here this time i'm going to uh, access the out dictionary in a different way first i am going to run a loop as key and value in out dot items so if you don't know out dot items dictionary will return the keys and values if i run this you will see that the dictionary has been displayed in my console where we can see the values these are keys these are values and uh, using these key and value i am going to create pd series iterator for value next i am going to create another data frame that will hold values of uh, vector centers right now if you see in my variable explorer the center is in uh, the shape of list so before i create a data frame let's convert a list into numpy array i'm going to run this line if you see that the center is now in array numpy array format but the shape of uh, centers is uh, in column i want to make it same as the shape of my feature variable and to do this i'm going to reshape centers where the first dimension will be one and the second dimension will be the entire size of centers vector let's run this the centers is now in perfect shape now i have created a data frame uh, passing centers vector but here is a trick i want to name the column as i specify here using the add prefix command inside the braces this column name will be used as a prefix and after that it will add 0 1 2 depending on the size of center vector similarly for the feet variable i am going to do the same as i did with center vector so this is third data frame i have generated using the feet vector and here i have used the prefix feet now we have generated three data frames next we are going to concatenate all of them into one data frame and to do that i have used the concatenate of uh, pandas command and here inside the parenthesis i have passed all of these generated data frames and uh, here is the trick that i want to mention that what is the meaning of axis is equal to one so if i use axis zero it will concatenate each of these data frame in a separate row 
which I don't want. I want to concatenate all of these data frames inside the same row. And to do that, I have specified axis is equal to one that will generate the same row and will concatenate all of these data frames inside that row. And I don't need to sort these data sets, so that's why I have kept it false. Now that I have created my data frame in result variable, next I'm going to write it. As CSV. So this time my CSV file name will be features underscore list underscore v2. So in my variable explorer you can see that the df is my final CSV that I have just read using ed.read underscore CSV. If I click on the values you will see that uh, my CSV in correct format now. Let me enlarge this variable window and if you can see that the scalar values are uh, in perfect shape, perfect format and uh, for vector centers you can see that uh, using the prefix it has added another column to save all of the values of uh, centers. Similarly, you can see for the feeds vector starting from zero, it has saved all of the values. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, do like and share. Also, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you have any suggestions, leave them in comments section. I will do consider it. Thank you.